Welcome Game of Thrones fans, it's me Mark. I'm Anna. And we are now here to give you episode 3, season 3 of Game of Thrones, entitled Walk of Punishment. Walk of Punishment. Um, well, we, we see, we see um, Sir Davos, right? Yeah, Sir Davos, you only wonder why the name of this was chosen. I hope he doesn't get like burned or something. Millicent, like There's people have been fire. Said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> good point. Good point. <laughs> you have a point. Like, let's hope he doesn't, you know, burn alive. That would be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Especially for him. Yeah. Now we just watched the last episode about an hour ago, so yeah. We won't really do much of a recap. Um, actually, probably none at all. What? What? We but we had two nights and we wanted to get a couple. We can point out aspects. Okay, well, what do you want to point out? You tell me. Or Arya want... finally got caught. Arya yep. finally got caught. Yep. Um, then Jamie and Brienne are, you know, in a little of a Predicament. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> On a bridge. So, there's that. We have, yeah, I made the list of names. Hopefully it'll help me. Some my old science journal from last year that had nothing in it. <laughs> um, and we decided to get a dry erase board for yes. her favorite five and hate five. So if they and a change whole bunch of other names. at any point in time during like the some, show, like in if our one, post comments, we'll yeah. swap them out. Yeah, like if someone dies. Good. Why are you pointing at Joffrey? Because I want him to die, like, then so bad. Then who would be your favorite guy to hate? I guess it would be Cersei. It would be Cersei. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, we decided to do this, and I threw a whole bunch of names down and around. Yep. Um, sure. That's what she's been writing down on her little notebook. Yes. And I'm on the back, because I have to fit in. I have to fit all the people in the wall, above the wall. So, yeah. A lot of names. Yes. She was warned about this, so about 23 episodes ago. 20, 23? You, you warned me, like, the first episode. Yeah, that was about 23 episodes ago. We're on episode 23 right now. 23, yeah. You said 33. Oh, I'll point out. What? <laughs> you said 33. Oh, I said 33? Yes, you said oh. 33. I'm like, wait. I'll check really? that in the edit. I thought I said 23. Anyway, 20 <laughs> minutes into this episode, we will be a third of our way caught up. It took which four I can't, months. What? Well, four months. At we're, this pace, we're going to be done. Next That's summer. Same, yep. <laughs> but we're going to try to do it a little quicker now. Mm -hmm, because we'll definitely lose some views so. during the next dock season in the spring. Oh, Because well. that happened this year. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not super worried about the views. The people that watch our videos watch them all the time. Definitely. So, anyways, we are going to get this one going. Yes. Um, here comes Walk of Punishment. You want to realize? What? I may have been reading the, the titles. <laughs> I'm going to assume Arya didn't, you know, make it. For the funeral, your grandfather, <laughs> Mrs. Ready? He's going to make it first try. Instructions were to wait for him to come to you. I seized an opportunity. What value was the mill? The mountain was garrisoned across the river from it. Is he there now? Of course not. We took the fight to him. He couldn't withstand us. I wanted to draw the mountain into the west, into our country where we could surround him and kill him. I wanted him to chase us, which he would have done because he is a mad dog without a strategic thought in his head. I could have that head on a spike by now. The mountain? 
She was at Hall. Yeah. He was the one Tywin let um, run it when Tywin got to the I mean. Willem Lannister. Martin Lannister. Willem and Martin Lannister are 14 years old. So Martin is 15, I believe. The children. Tywin Lannister has my sisters. Have I sued for peace? No. He has. I think he'll sue for peace because he has his father's brother's great grandsons. No. How many men did you lose? Two hundred knights. But for every man we lost, the Lannisters. We need our men more than Tywin needs his. Sorry. I didn't know you would have right here today at this gathering if you had been patient. You seem to be running short of patience here. You know who isn't? Tywin Lannister. Number four.
I was in King's Landing after the Sir Kelly scene. You know what I saw? Butcher, babies, children, old men, more women raped than you can count. There's a beast in every man, and it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. But the unsullied are not men. They do not rape. They do not put cities to the sword unless they're ordered to do so. If you buy them, the only men they'll kill are those you want dead. Do you disagree, Sir Barristan? When your brother Regard led his army into battle of the Trident, men died for him because they believed him, because they loved him, not because they'd been bought in the slaver's auction. I fought beside the last dragon on that day, of rest. I fled beside him. Rhaegar fought valiantly. Rhaegar fought nobly. Rhaegar died. Did you know him well, Sir Barristan? I did, your grace. He looks like the green dragon. Oh, sure, no. Yeah. I thought it was you know, the last dragon. There's only two Targaryens who live in Tyre. She can't afford them. There are 8,000 unsullied in Astapor. Is this what you mean by all? Yes. 8,000. And the ones still in training as well. Yes. Don't be seen. It's in the horse here. Push it, Bivet. Now it's just leave. It's just a board. Master Grezen says they cannot sell half-trained boys. If they fail on the battlefield, they will bring shame upon all of Astapor. I will have them all or take none. Many will fall in battle. I'll need the boys to pick up the swords they drop. Oh. Master Kassanis says you cannot afford this. Your ship will buy you 100 unsullied. I have dragons. I'll give what? you one. I will win the throne with dragons, not slaves, your grace. please.
tried to take the king slayer alive. Nobody said shit about you. You know who she is, don't you? Some big dumb bitch from who cares where. The thing was the woman that bitch. She's Brienne of Tarf. Her father's Lord Selwyn of Tarf. Her of Tarf? They call it the Sapphire Isle, you know why? That's which sapphire in Westeros was mined on Tarf. Sapphires are gemstones, the good ones. I know what they are. Lord Selwyn would pay his daughter's weight in sapphires if she's returned to him. But only if she's alive. Her honor undismerged. I'm not as young and resilient as I was once. None of us are. I'm Jason to Jamie from the So she'll be wanting something to eat. Got a spare partridge on the fire? Well, I do like partridge. <laughs> Bring the bird over here. The carving knife. Will this work as a table, the Lord? Oh, yes, yes, this will be right. surround them and capture them. Instead, the mountain took off to Castle Rock. So he wasn't happy because Edmure wasn't patient. Mm -hmm. Next was the council meeting. Uh -huh. They had Tyrion in it. Tyrion is now the master of coins. Yes. Which means he he's like the treasurer. The treasurer. Yes. Yes. He's the treasurer. 
which we learned about in social studies. There's the Secretary of State, Secretary of Treasury, the Secretary of War, Secretary of like, like the all the first secretaries of the cabinet. But at least Tyrion has a job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the small council is like our cabinet. Pretty and, much. And, okay, here's a question. Why is Tyrion getting Master of Coin? Because Littlefinger was Master of Coin. Littlefinger? Isn't he like the, now like, Lord of some place? Going to be the Lord of the Vale. They are sending him up. Mm-hmm. To marry Liza. Liza. Cat sister. Right. So he can become the Lord of the Vale because he's on the Lannister side. Mm-hmm. I think he'd much rather marry Cat. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, we had Arya and Hot Pie and Gendry. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gendry's helping out. Arya's kind of mad. Yeah. Him. Then Hot Pie decided to stay where he was at, working in the kitchen, because he made really good bread. So they had to say bye to Hot Pie. Mm-hmm. Then they went back on the road. Uh, we had a scene between Cat and Blackfish, where she was talking about seeing her dad go off war, and she was sitting in the window all those times. And then she talked about um, Brandon Rickon. Yep. And she, she assumes that their dad Blackfish was reassuring her. Yep. Rob thinks they're alive. They, they are, obviously. We had the short little Talissa scene where she was bandaging up the Lannister boy. Right. And he was asking about Rob. Does he turn into a wolf <laughs> at night? Yes. Does he eat the his enemies? <laughs> yes. Will he eat me? No, he doesn't eat children. Unless it's a full moon. <laughs> Is it a full moon? No. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Okay, we have Mance and the crew, Raider. Mm -hmm. All them, they come across all them horses in that spiral shape. Uh -huh. Which, like I said, when we were watching, do you remember the first episode? Yeah, the very beginning, the spiral the shape thing. Those, with that the was, white walkers. It wasn't, uh, no, those were wildlings. They were wild, wild, they were horses. But they were spread out in the snow in that spiral Yeah, but shape. I mean, in the first episode, yeah. they were wildlings. Yep, yeah, they were wildlings. But the same but, shape yeah. was left. Um. So then Mance tells Tormund to take John and, what did he say, 20 guys? I think so. And go south of the wall. And send the bird up because the the warg was gonna go with him also. Send the bird up to scout north of the wall, and he says he'll give him a signal. And that is so the biggest fire the north has seen. When they attack the wall in Castle Black, they'll be focused on the wildlings. And meanwhile, the small group that goes south of the wall can attack from the other side. I wonder if they're going to meet up with uh, um, Bran McGon. Though, I mean, the timing of the show <laughs> doesn't necessarily work out. <laughs> ever. Yeah, they always just miss everything, don't they? <laughs> I know. They're never getting back together. Um, there's my next note. Then we head to Craster's Creep. Keep. Keep. Creep. <laughs> Creep, keep, uh, same difference. <laughs> and he does let them in. He does notice that there's a lot less of them. They lost a lot. Yep. And the note I have is, it's a boy. It's a boy. Gilly had a boy. Uh-huh. So what do you think is going to happen? Well, hmm. I'm going to assume Sam's going to, um, with all of his power, he's going to try to sneak away the boy. Okay. Theon escapes. Theon escapes. Uh, we can go down to the, do both Theon scenes. That was when he escapes. The guy helps him. Mm-hmm. 
And that shows him later on, he's on a horse, and then the arrows come, and there are people on his tail. Mm-hmm. Now they're dead. And then he gets saved again. By boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Which... Oh, what did... Is he, like, a uh, Starkboy? A Starkman? Oh, uh, he's unnamed at this point in time. Yeah, I know, but... I don't, it was... He, he did say winter is coming, which is winter is coming. Yeah, that that's what initially made me think he was from like Winterfell, but, you know. Winter's coming. Hmm. Well, all right. Well, we'll dwell on that. So. Melisandre and Stannis on the beach. She says she has to go. Mm-hmm. He don't want her to go. Yeah, but I mean. What what does she mean by the whole you're too weak? Because she already used him to get Renly. Yes, but how? I know. But His like, fire is low, so she needs King's blood. King's blood. So one true king. Every other Baratheon is dead except for Gendry. He's the only Gendry and Stannis are like the only Baratheons, unless there's like third or fourth cousins. Yeah, because Branley's dead. All of the well. bastards are dead. <laughs> Every... Mm. Alrighty. Yep. We got uh, then Jorah, um, Sir Barristan and Danny talking mm -hmm. when they're walking by all the slaves that were hanging, sentenced and... to death. Um, Barristan don't like the idea of buying slaves. Jorah says they'll be loyal. Mm -hmm. What is your thoughts on buying slaves, I guess, would be my question. Okay. Buying slaves is, they're humans. You're selling another human being. Mm -hmm. That's like... You have no soul. <laughs> you have no soul if you sell human beings. What if you buy human beings? Do you have a soul? You you have no soul. Because so she wants to get them all. She she wants them all, and I mean. And what's she willing to give for it? I guess is the big a, thing. The dragon. <laughs> Dragon! Why would she get rid of her dragons? I mean, well, dragon. She's in the biggest one, which I'm pretty sure is Drogon. Yep. Drogon, named after her husband. She's she's just gonna give a dragon away. <laughs> this is like. Is that enough to make you mad enough to lower her in your list, or no? Mm. <laughs> You don't really seem happy with her right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I really, I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll leave that for now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's what she said she would give. Now my favorite funny scene is the Tyrion, Bronn, and Podrick stuff. <laughs> They didn't want his money? No. <laughs> Just like that thing saying, give me all of the details. That I no matter what, I can I can see like my friends saying that. No matter what the situation is, give me all of the details. Every single detail matters. That's exact The details matter <coughs> for like anything. Like for having a boy ask you out, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, girl, girls say they have to have the details of like every single Only this thing. was Tyrion and Bronn that wanted the details, <laughs> yeah. which makes it so funny, I thought. <laughs> um, okay, and then that brings us all the way to the end, where 
Jamie actually saved Brienne. Mm hmm. And then Jamie lost a hand. Yeah. Mm hmm. My hand hurts. Like, <laughs> like mainly in my wrist area. It just hurts. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah. He saved her and he lost a hand. Which would have hurt. I'd be screaming my butt off. Oh, he did. That's how it ended. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With him screaming. Yeah. Mm, that. So, what do you think of all this um, last episode? Um. Well, mm, more stuff. <laughs> well, my brain hurts, but then again, it always hurts after an episode. <laughs> <laughs> after two tonight. After two episodes. We were originally going to do three, but it's like 10 o'clock now. Yeah, it's not enough time. But... <sighs> well, on that note, we did a pretty good recap on that one. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think might be coming next episode? I don't... I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now his watch has ended. Yeah. It'll be the next one. Well, I mean, there might be the attack on... Castle Black, or wherever they're entering, going over the wall. Um, possibly, there would be probably the trade for the dragon that going on. But I mean, the dragon could fly, so maybe, maybe Drogon might, you know, escape, and you know, fly back to Danny, <laughs> which could be her initial plan, which would have been smart. She found. Um, which would be smart. So there's that. So possibly the dragon would escape and then come back to Danny. Yeah, we'll call that good for an episode. Yes. And I hope everybody liked it. Like I said, mm -hmm. continue commenting. We'll throw the questions in from time to time. Yep. And like I said, I still show her all the cool comments you guys are leaving her. So. Yes. They're um, picked. Yeah, we will. So he goes through. All of them. See you for episode four here soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you and have a good night. Good night.